Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm converting a Transit Connect into a camper van, stroke weekend van, and today we're going to be tackling the roof. As you can see, I've made a template for the first section of the roof, uh, just out of cardboard, it's the easiest way to do it. So next we're going to take that cardboard down and get some strips of 1x1 up, just ready for supporting the 4mm ply line roof. Let's just measure up that front section for the 1x1. cut to length just there. What I've also done is put a couple of these notches in as the roof slightly, only very slightly sloped. What that will do is when we fasten it up as you'll see it will just give it that bit of flexible movement to try and follow the contour of the of the roof better. Right, let's get this drilled. Just a bit of advice, get some good drill bits, don't tie these cheap Practice drill bits and um, get some Dewalt ones or, or whatever because you know something seals on me thin but when it's double skin it needs to take a lot of getting through. So I've done the first pilot hole as you can see that and then I'm just going to drill these last two. I've, I've gone through with a smaller drill bit like a one and a half mil drill bit just to make it easier. to the insulation now. First of all let's give the roof a good wipe with some white spirit certain time substitute the same thing. I'm going to be using Rectacell insulation board. Uh, I know a lot of people use this silver bubble wrap but that's purely as a vapour barrier. The, the properties, the R rating of this is far better um, 
than, than your normal standard insulation if you like. So where this will fit if possible you better have to use this and then for the other part I can't use this for what I use is a plastic recycled bottle which insulation which is available from B&Q. And then we've got the stick saw. This is hopefully going to stick it to the roof of the van. I've seen these stick pins you can get um, which basically are a sticky pad. It sticks to the roof with a point. You push your insulation board up and then you bend the tab over and they're fantastic but current situation etc. Let's see if we can get this glued to the ceiling. Wedge this up. I don't I'm supposed to have a bit of instinct with that, but I don't particularly think it'll stay there on its own. Fingers crossed, let's leave that half an hour or so, we'll get this piece in and hopefully it should be all stuck. So now these have been left overnight, the props, I'm going to take them out. You're either going to laugh when they fall or say, I didn't think that would work, but here we go. Fairly solid. Let's work to treat. Yeah, perfect. So all we'll do now is we'll get a little, there's a little bit more insulation to fill in these little gaps here, and then we'll foil take the rest of it all the way around, um, and then we'll start looking at some vapor barrier. So there you can see now the vapour barrier is all installed. Um, it's just basic stuff from B&Q, Amazon, eBay, the bubble, foil bubble wrap. And then round the edges with the aluminium foil tape just to seal it all in. stage is going to be the ply line ceiling over the top of that insulation and vapour barrier. So please look out for that next video soon. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching my videos. Any comments are really appreciated. Cheers!